morning everyone and welcome back to Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our gameplay through Terra Invicta. Sorry if my voice is changed, I do have a cold but I really wanted to get back into the games and start recording as well, so here I am. Today we're gonna try an idea that I spoke about at the end of the last episode or somewhere through the last episode, which is basically taking Russia and their nuclear barrages and try to take one of our biggest competitors out of the game basically the united states or cause enough damage to where their research goes down by a lot the re reason why i'm doing that is because us under the control of the project exodus and they also have the resistance within them and the initiative they've declared war on japan one of our main territories and because we're allied with Australia pretty much we're in the same war and I'm starting to be annoyed because they do have freedom of the seas they have a huge navy that can pretty much blockade us from moving around in any kind of conflict that they intervene in they have almost five points in military tech, in military tech. And they do have and produce a lot of research. So all of these put together, I feel like they are our biggest target. Our second one would be the European Union, but they are not as strong as the US might be. So I am going to sacrifice Russia. We're learning the game. We're, it's still early on. It's still our first campaign. If it turns out badly, hey, at least we've learned something. If it turns out good, then something great might happen. The cool thing about all of this, at least the way that I see it, is we're, we are going to experiment something that we've never experimented in a game. It feels like a good tactic when playing as the servants to weaken the other nations in order to have the aliens pr make progress, I'm guessing. I'm not sure how much influence they will have, but I'm guessing that it is important as I said at the beginning of the campaign, to weaken the competition. And if we really want to, if it turns out too badly, then we can just reload up to this point and continue, but we're gonna try it out either way. So without further ado, let us continue. We assigned our agents at the end of the last episode. I am going to let some time pass. We'll see, Securing the US might control. be moving already some troops towards us. But we have the enough defenses to protect ourselves against them. Japan has a 4.5 military tech. That is quite good as well. But we've been blockaded, as you might imagine. So during our next turn, we will have to... ...advise Russia in order to go to war with the US. Tracking failed. We failed to track one of the agents. We had a small roll there. Now I am curious what the impact would be. I mean, I am guessing that there will be ecological impacts all around the nuked areas, but I'm not sure how it will affect the rest of the world and the rest of the gameplay. We're winning their hearts and minds. Public campaign mission success. This was, it was in the US, okay. Well, if I take a look, probably Washington. This region is the capital of the United States of America. Mission targeting the nation as a whole or its control points will take place here. Conquering the capital of nation in wartime will trigger regime change and annexation of any claimed territories by its enemies. Now, some of these are resource regions. There's alien life forms here. This is a free control control point center. Is that? Yeah, mission control center, okay. And this is a, a resource region which grants a bonus to the nation's economy priority but also causes greater increase in equality and environmental damage, okay. 
this one right here is also economic. Core economic region grants a bonus to the nation's economy. Okay. There's another one here and there's another one here. Here we also have boost. And this one, 25.5 per year and this is a 2.5 per year. Okay, well, definitely want to take out Atlanta here because of this huge boost that they provide them with. On this side we have what? An air force for even more boost and control points. Guess we'll throw a barrage here, then probably Washington and then we'll see what else. It really depends on how the war turns out. I have no idea, I haven't experimented this before the episode because I wanted... At least I wanted to be surprised and show you the surprise. We found something. Wrapping up here. The war is going on between Turkey and the UK and the rest. Control point gained in Nigeria. Okay. I see no reason at the moment to let countries go. We gained another point Our in Venezuela. Are now in charge. A purge mission, we've done one in Russia. And we've taken over another territory. Cool. Well, there's one more point here in Ethiopia. We have learned that the Humanity Force has failed a purge mission in Nigeria. Okay. Everybody wants to take Nigeria for some reason. Okay. And we lost an army of North Korea, okay, and we took another army from Russia. Good. What are we going to go do going forward? Well, we have enough influence. I would like to do a crackdown. Turning up Over the here. Heat. Where to? With you, I am going to take you out. We're actually going to defend the interests in Russia. Securing our interests. What's the op? With our spy with Celia. Can I do a purge mission here? I th it feels like we need to do a crackdown first. Yeah, so we'll do that. Let's spend a little influence. Going after their people. By. Over on this side, I would really like to work for longer on Indonesia. But we do not have a way to do campaigns here, so let's Standing investigate by. these agents. We'll see what they're up to. Where do you need me? And with you. Doing a public campaign, it would cost us a lot of money to somehow succeed. You have a lot of investigation, so it's probably better for you to Don't come here and investigate these agents. And with Your you, orders? we'll replace you. Let's just do a scan in Australia. Initiating surveillance. Now I want full control of the country before we attack. We are now able to undertake the improved maintenance procedures. Hab accidents are events are less likely to affect us. Cascading failure outcomes in events are less likely to occur. Okay. Securing our control. Setting a watch. We're getting the restored Warsaw Pact. But we would have probably to get into these countries first. Yes, so Russia gains a claim on the following regions. Sofia.
Okay, I'm guessing this... This would be Bulgaria, Romania... Will be Poland... Hungary... Okay. And up here with Finland as well. Okay, let's check their alliance soon, but we need to pick a research first. Exotic material allows factions faction to amass stockpiles of exotics. How much is that in research? 20k. That is a lot. The Republic of the Southern Cross. Okay, strategic lobbying. We're not doing direct investment just yet. Settlement mining complex. This is an upgrade to what we need. Settlement core. Mountain warfare doctrine. That would actually help us a lot. Also, guerrilla warfare. To increase unrest when our nations are being conquered. That would be interesting. But well, let's start with this. Augmented combat training. It's only 5k and it will increase the investment points that are directed to military building armies and building navies. And we are working towards army main building. Militarization of, militarization of space. We're researching that. We have the most points here. So pretty soon we'll be able to take control of the next research that we'll be doing. So we're working also on applying a crackdown here, or the chances aren't too high. Now, if I look at the relations, Finland has only Germany. The Baltic States has the European Union on their side. Belarus has... Apparently they're allied with the US. But because they're alli our allies as well, I don't think that they will be joining a war when we declare on the US. The European Union here... The, the European Union. Romania is part of the European Union. Okay, and... Bulgaria as well. So they'll be joined by all these forces. We would be declaring war pretty much on the European Union. Poland, apparently Poland is alone. I wonder if we can take over Poland since we do have some opinion of us. Maybe we can get into Poland and peacefully get into the Warsaw Pact? We've got some we'll test that target. out, see if it works like that. Let me know what to do. We have an academy agent. There's another agent here. I will report when my mission is Yeah, complete. the crackdown will Prepare not work well. Mission. Yeah, because of this agent. It's probably defending the territory. Or maybe they've crackdown complete. done Clean something else, up. we'll see. So, crackdown in North Korea. That is good. The US is bringing their troops over. Now, Australia is blockaded, right? Yes, we have no navies, apparently. Can I say that I want to deploy troops here? No. Yeah, the US is bringing a lot of forces around. We can't wait anymore. It seems like their advantage here is quite high. Didn't we have two troops in Japan? Yes, we do. Well, let's bring them up. Or can they not move? I 
Uh, I should have moved four. No, it actually worked. That is good. So the US has two troops and they're bringing even more. Well, I'm here. Then there's Where no time to me? wait. In order to do a crackdown here, we need the highest investigation we have. Standing by. And I believe that that is the, the agent that in. has the highest. Yes. Where to? Well, what's the op? Let's work on it. Standing it's by. It's a small chance, but we're going to try it. We're going to try a 10% chance. Going after here. their people. Acknowledged. With you, I would like to do probably a public Making campaign. Make sure case. that we have a majority there. Ready. Let's set national policy here. On my her. way to the capital. Acknowledged. Standing by. Can I? I work for you now. Let's see if we can detain this we'll counselor. Ready for Maybe orders. bring it to our side. And what else do we have here? I wanted to do some sort of a crackdown, for example. Our chances wouldn't be that high, mostly because our investigation is not that high. I wanted to do anything in the US, would that work? It doesn't seem like anything would work. They're bringing more armies towards us, so we're definitely needing uh, to declare the war. I'm just gonna try to detect this, or no, let's do a purge here in North Korea. The opposition. Yeah, they're bringing all of their troops, so all of the other... All of the factions in the US don't like us, they want to take Japan from us. They slipped away. Okay, we didn't manage to capture the agent. A coup in Kenya, that is okay. The Western Army, okay, has arrived in Tokyo. We have a good campaign in Russia. Targets lost. We didn't manage to take anything or do a crackdown. Mission complete. There we go. Declare war on the United States of America. Russia is asking its allies Kazakhstan to join. No, we'll not uh, bring them in the war. Now let's see. If I look at the relations, we are at war with Egypt and the US. I am about to do something crazy, but we're about to do it. A nuclear strike package is available on your order. We may target any region belonging to our current war enemies or our own regions with enemy forces present. Know that advanced defenses will prevent any attack. I don't think we have advanced defenses yet. Launching our weapons will do terrible and lasting damage to the targeted region, destroying any enemy armies and all space facilities and surely be seen as horror around the globe. Definitely here. Nuclear launch underway. Russia, under the control of the server, is launching a nuclear attack on Atlanta, which is sure to cause widespread devastation and massive loss of life. Can we see it? Oh yes. And we've used only two of them. When can we do the other one? Let's see. So now it's an ecologically vulnerable region. Fallout. This region has been struck by one nuclear barrage. Regions damaged in this way suffer a permanent loss in population growth due to radiation and contaminated food and water supplies. Okay. I mean, even if they manage to take over Japan, they won't last for long. We haven't received any attack yet. Let's take a look at their economy. What does this make it? Well, they're all going down. Definitely did a lot of damage to their boost.
the yeah, Japanese threat. army has been destroyed. What else do we have here? There's an army that's not ours. Let's see. We've lost a control point in Australia. Okay. Japan has deployed... They've created... So Japan has created another army while they were at war. So that is good for us. We have purged the supporters of humanity first. Okay, Reporting so we've in. taken over North Korea. Erratic leader behavior. We are receiving reports describing a sudden swing in the behavior of some leaders in Sudan, which we believe may mark an alien attempt to secure the control points for the servants there. We have determined the aliens are now able to infiltrate national institutions in what will look from the outside like a purge mission by the servants, but may not be prevented by our usual legal and political defenses. We believe developing the science attribute among our counselors will help us understand and invest against, defend against this phenomena. Okay. We're causing some damage to the US. They're bringing more navies in. They have all of their armies. Almost. This is very interesting. I Now I am even more curious what it is like to play with the resistance, for example. Okay, apparently their South Korea is doing some crazy things, making a lot of rivals. Ready. As Russia, then we are going to target Washington. We can do so much here. Well, until they destroy us as well, I'm guessing. But we could cause a lot of damage somewhere in Europe as well. Somehow, because we do not have the control points for everything, I feel like this is the right idea to go with. Just... I'm, I'm guessing this is... In a way, it's easier. But I'm not sure it's the right way to do it. Well... They've definitely decreased a lot in research. And we're gonna continue to do so. To do damage here, we'll do the Washington Capital Region, Core Economic Region. So we'll do another one of these. The crackdown in Australia has expired. We are slightly over our points limit. Ready to go. I feel like I should use this agent to investigate whoever is in Russia. Investigating target. And Reporting I am going in. to use her Where do you need me? to defend this region. On guard. Acknowledged. You have a good investigation as well. I am thinking about getting here in Belarus. It's either Belarus or we can get... Let's work on getting into Poland, I believe. So the chances for us... Yeah, let's take let's work on power. Belarus first. Standing by. Because right now I am thinking that we can test if we I can have some sort of public. peaceful annexation or unification between Russia and Belarus. And if that works, then we can start thinking and expanding into other regions as well. You can investigate alien activities we'll and we'll do that. Site. The US is bringing another army here in Australia. But with one war army they won't succeed. However, in Japan, the story is slightly different. They're bringing five armies. We can't really reinforce. Did we take down their navy? No. So we did not take out their navy even with that kind of attack. We will leave certain regions, for example, we can leave Syria now. J 
just try to reduce some of the points. We'll stay in South Korea. We'll stay in North Korea. Don't need Nigeria right now, so we can abandon it. And that's it. Well, I'm looking at research. We're almost done with mil militarization of space. A nuclear winter. I got an achievement called nuclear winter. Apparently, there are some problems with nuking too much of the world. Will there be any kind of humanity left after all this? It's definitely gone darker, right? I don't know how long I can keep this up, but we're gonna try. China has deployed another army. Cool. Defending the VIP. Let's send them around. Just in case they the enemy does the same thing and they're nuking us. Right? Let's go home. Spread our armies out. Yeah, they're it doing only a matter of time before this rush for gold turns red. Good, so the militarization of space has been completed, and now we can think of other ideas. Directed energy warfare doctrine. Develop tactics and techniques for lasers and similar spacecraft weapon systems. Infrared combat laser, particle cannons, point defense laser turrets. Interesting. Advanced Marine Assault Unit or Marine Company Barracks. This is for investigate strategies for seizing space asset intact. Okay. Arrival International Development, Climate Change Mitigation, Integrated Earth Space Economy. Advanced superconductors, rival law, sanction, investigation, executive privilege. There is some interesting stuff here, I do not know what it does, but it doesn't play into our type of games, what we want to do. Military planners develop tactics around magnetic weaponry. Military science adapts self-guiding missile system for spacecraft combat. Is there anything... Like, I'm looking and trying to figure out if there's anything else that is this for Earth that would push our technology for stronger armies. Infrared combat lasers. I think I'm gonna go with the Arrival International Development. Maybe the climate change mitigation will help for some things. It seems like there are going to be some projects that we can begin doing. Or biotechnology, Arrival Psychology, Cybernetics, Sure, let's go with biotechnology here. Can we take it? Or do we need something? No, we do have biotechnology. It's cheap too. To get some cybernetic implants or whatever. National points investment with directs towards knowledge priority are increased by 5%. Are we doing that? We're not doing too much of that. We're investing some money into it. Public opinion is moving in our direction. Yeah, they're really destroying our armies in Japan. But what can we do? We have to sacrifice them for a while, keep them distracted. We've 
neutralize their key people. We can do another nuke. Done the crackdown in Belarus. Let's see. So these areas now have problems. This is another core economic region. Here we have some command points, some resources, but there was also alien life forms. Let's destroy first of all their core economic regions. And I'll do this one because it has some boost, it has a few other things. They haven't retaliated, which is a bit weird. But I'm guessing they're really focused on Japan right now. Recon complete. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose Japan. Go. But maybe we might fight to take it back. Maybe there is a way to do it. We shall see. Okay, crackdown hasn't worked last time. We're gonna try again here. Applying pressure on their people. I'm here. I am going I'm to here. use Celia actually with purge with a purge mission in Belarus. Terminating the opposition. At your service. Wait, you like if I do purge, what does it orders. take? It takes espionage. I'm gonna continue our campaign we'll in Russia Ready. for more strength. What's the up? Gabin has investigated this agent right here. What are the chances of you capturing it? Well, if I spend a lot we'll of grab points, them. and we will, Ready to we're go. gonna try to grab that agent. And finally, let's do some ad advice in Russia. Them. We can do a lot of military barrages. Or nuclear barrages. It almost feels like cheating. I'm sure that sooner or later this will be get balanced out. I don't want to destroy the alien life forms, so let's destroy the surrounding areas. A resource region. Look at that. Let's do the core economic region first. Yeah, Australia is engaged now with the US, but I don't think the US will succeed there. In Japan, it's a bit of a different story. They will be able to take over, unfortunately. But on the plus side, we could move Russia's army to the edge at least. Let's see. Now we can only do one by one, apparently. Sure. Let's deploy them one by one. I'll bring assistance. We'll continue doing damage for as long as they let us do it. They're investing a lot into military right now. We have failed to capture the agent. It's a bit unfortunate because we've used Public a lot of our ops. With us. Regime change in Japan. So yes, they've taken over, but their our popularity is still high. Guards army have arrived in St. Petersburg region. Okay. Let's continue. We're gonna keep going forward here. Targets got away. Let's take a look at the US and what we how much more damage can we cause? They have a resource region that we haven't taken out. We'll do it now. That doesn't leave them with many territories. 
Yeah, I almost want to take this region out as well, but they do have alien life forms, so they might just be able to infiltrate. Okay. We lost a point Our in Nigeria. To take control. Ooh, that was such a low roll there. Or we'll did they do anything? The initiative has taken over first, so they did the mission before us. And that is what happened there. Okay. Let's move our armies further. Take Russia's army, move forward. Two more armies are moving towards the east. The US has left. Japan right now is not at war with the US anymore, right? Nope, they're rivaling Russia, China and North Korea. Well, they won't have a real chance to keep these territories away from us. Targeting their key people. Where do you need me? Where to? I don't know if they know this, Ready to but go. we are going to work on taking back Japan. Ready for my mission. Can I do a purge? No, that's with the espionage and you have zero. Then I am going to... First of all, let's try to do a crackdown in Russia. Applying pressure on their people. We're gonna do Orders. a campaign in Japan. We must persuade I am going to people. try to do another Acknowledge. crackdown in a second territory in Japan. There we Targeting go. Their center of power. And then we'll What's do two port missions during the next turn Ready and so on orders. and so forth. Standing by for orders. A coup. If I wanted to do a coup in Japan, well, it wouldn't be that good. There's not enough unrest for things to stay stable. Sad national policy. Let's do... Or, better yet, let's see if we can make an alliance around here. As Russia, we don't want to be rivals with China. We'll go for normal relations also with Australia. And I guess with Japan, the first chance we get. Uh, do we also... No, we're allied with Kazakhstan. Okay. The US... does not have a lot of resources left. They have Boston here, they have Dallas. Alien activity, some form of alien activity has been detected in the region, okay? In Seattle there is an ecologically protected region. These regions, typically in high altitudes in the Northern Hemisphere, will not suffer economic loss due to global environmental damage. It's rugged terrain. And another rugged terrain. Okay. Well, I am going to use what we have here in resources. To pretty much decimate whatever territories we can. And if I wanted to do a crackdown in Belarus, it doesn't seem like we have that high of a chance as we used to. But we'll spend some influence, we have enough of it. Cracking down. It is very weird to me how we have no response at this moment from the other countries. Force 
the forces of India has imp have imposed a new government regime in Turkey, okay? And this is probably the last attack that we do on the US. Are we at war with anyone else? Were we at war with Egypt? But Egypt does not have enough power to where I'm afraid of fighting them. Though, they're making 39 loose per year. And they're part of the Project Exodus. And I'm sorry, Egypt. There it is. They slipped away from us. A very low roll, unfortunate. Lost their trail. It's mostly because they've decided to con to they do one of these protect interests. Okay. We've neutralized their key people. Okay, we managed to do a crackdown in Russia. New project available, Marine Assault Unit. Another army in Novosibirsk, okay. Let's continue forward here. Now we do not have, unfortunately, the armies to go over the sea to the US. We need to do a protect interest mission. Your orders. Let's see. I'm here. No, I have to do something Where else. Where do you need me? So if I want to do a crackdown, we would need investigation, right? Ready for my mission. I will take Celia first. Orders. If I do purge with her espionage in Russia, we would be able We're to fully take power. the territory. Ready for my mission. Where to? We can steal a project from someone in the US, but we would probably benefit if we'd capture it first. Let me pick you, Vu. Say defend interest and protect our region of Kazakhstan. Securing our interests. I will go service. through our agents next. We have the main intelligence directorate from the Moscow region which would give us a mission to assassinate, increase our coup d'etat and purge. Lose some money, but it would provide us with a lot of points in a bunch of areas. So I guess I will purchase it. But I need to start thinking about cash as well. We'll wait until we can get wealthy, I'm guessing, with this agent. Looking at 8 cash per month, it's not a lot, but it is something. Rich, we need 80 to get rich. Another wealthy agent. Yeah, we're not making money anymore because we lost our territories from Japan. South Korea, didn't South Korea used to have like three regions or something? Hmm. US is in the Philippines now. I'm not sure if they're using this as a stage to go to Australia, but I feel like we've destroyed one of their armies. Okay, there is some alien activity. Happening in the US? No, they've retreated their army. They have six right now. Actually, can I? I don't think I can because I don't think we're at war with the Philippines. Are we? We are not. I mean, if we were... Z 
said national policy. Let's see. Uh, actually, first, you have the highest investigation. Let's work on doing a crackdown here. Cracking down. Reporting in. Let's take one. Said national policy. Can I declare war on the Philippines? What allies do they have? They just have a rival in China. Said national policy. Confirm. On my way to the capital. Come here. Do a crackdown. Twenty-three percent chance, not a people. high one. Well, let's see. So this is our last turn, our last movement. Making things safe for our people. Come on. Come on. China has launched a new navy attached. Good. So we have a new navy in one of our armies in China. Come on. They have all their armies here. Give us the said national policy. They slipped away from us. Our attempt to neutralize the resistance in Japan has failed. Okay. Do I have to make sure that the Philippines... Arrivals, probably. And yeah, they're moving some of their armies, but I'm hoping that we will catch them. Ah. Target lost. Mission complete. Declare war on the Philippines. Confirm. Let's not join the war. And what I'm thinking now. The US has two armies on land. They had four of them. And I wish I would have thought about this sooner. But if we nuke... Manila, we just took out a good portion of their troops. So the US is now Removed very weak. Uh, how do I say this? This is, isn't this a bit weird? I mean, there's, I feel like the situation right now Because there is no kind of response and I see no nuclear response from the US either they have only 9.9 .9 freedom of the seas now. Which also means that I could declare war with China and take back Japan. And then declare, go take our armies to the US. Yeah. Anyway, because there is no response from the US, even though they do have a good amount of strategic nuclear barrages, it is a bit weird, isn't it? It almost feels like this was a cheat tactic. But we're gonna play with it to the maximum of our ability. As weird as this sounds, might even declare war on the European Union. Who knows what we will be doing next? And who knows how all of this will affect us in the long run. But that is something that we will have to see during the next episode. I'll take a break here, have some tea or some coffee and get back into doing another episode. Until tomorrow, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.